Well, here we are. Um, this is for the transphobia, whatever, non-spirit persons out there. Um, you have no right to fabricate or anything like that to judgment me or a child that is going through transition or feels like a girl or feels like a boy or a non-binary person. So, you know, like, that your choice. So, KKKKK, white supremacist people out there, you have no spirit, you have no guts. You know, it's like, you have no right. If I was prime minister, and if you brought, brought up a child, like a KKKK mentality, sorry, you don't deserve or have the right to have any children in any way. And I was one of the 21 candidates, ended up with 686 votes. Yes, I'm an ally and the bullies got to stop. On the news it says, younger generations of trans people prefer to be miss or prefer to be sir or prefer to be non-binary um, gender. That's their preference. That's their right. That's their feelings. That's you can't take somebody else's feelings away from them. It's just totally, you're incapable to self-destruct transisms in the life forms of a human being. You know, they're a non-binary bird that has both genders. So, you know, it's like, you have no right, so stop it. Stop it and get educated. Oh, I have a PhD, this, 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 this. But what about sex education? What about street smarts? What about um, just treating people how they want to be treated and how they are? You know, it is so sickening that even trans men make fun of trans women and lesbians make fun of trans women or gay people make fun of trans women. I'm not saying specifically everybody. I'm just specifically saying that there is people out there that will purposely wake up and think, think about targeting people. And if I was mayor of Vancouver, that's very bullyish. And the prime minister has to get it through their heads that yes, there is this stomach discrimination against the trans community, against blacks, against um, native people, and against whatever. You know, we're not all going to get along. So, I just don't get it. I'm a double Pisces. I was born to be a double Pisces. So, I am. I'm a woman. I'm a she, her, or a miss. I don't accept do you or a you. Um, that's insulting. Insulting the trans community. Insulting a human being unnecessarily. And it has to stop. Like, are you born in 1800s? Are we all in a 2020 universe, different dimension of minds? And we have to collaborate, you know, in a good way, in a in a passion way, in a in a in a thankful way, in a in a giving way, in a kindful way, in a just get out of that box of mind and, and this little square up here and here and open up the door and explore. You know, and stop judging people, especially the innocents. Like, hello, so what if I did something 30 years ago? Well, 99, 1991, well, you're 2001, you're 2011, uh, you're 2021. That's like 30 years ago. People that 
hold grudges are non-spirit people and they're just walking skeletons. It just quizzes my mind that, that how people can just be so thornful and not sharp-minded, like a sharp pencil. No, a very dull pencil, not even that, down to the wood, doesn't even scrape. <laughs> That's how dull it can be. And that's the mentality of, of the KKK, Who's Klutz Klan mentality. Now, please stop. You know, and I'm like, I tortured murder survivor, um, rape survivor, um, a mental stress survivor, um, such as go on and so on and so on and so on. There's a movie going to be out probably, hopefully, before 2022. And hopefully I get the grant. And hopefully she gets the grant. And hopefully the other directors get the grants. So I want to do my reassignment surgery after a fact of blood all over the place. And the prison guards harassing me.